Monique gets rebuked by her sister. Ooh, stay tuned. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on this morning on Morning Nuggets. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate, and it is my absolute pleasure when I come and speak with you. Although this is Morning Nuggets, you'll get this video a little later today. I pray that this video finds you exceptionally well. I covered the story of Monique and D.L. Hughley last week, and it has evolved. Millicent Imes, I believe that's her name. That's Monique's sister. She chimes in a couple days ago and she checks Monique. She rebukes. Yes, I'm going to use a church term. She rebukes her sister Monique sharply. When I thought about this, someone checking someone or rebuking someone i start thinking was it out of love because when we love someone we like to tell them the right thing to do and sometimes we have to rebuke people that we love but sometimes people are simply jealous that's an opportunity for them to lash out a lot of people on social media said that monique's sister millicent was jealous a lot of people say uh, she had no business putting their personal business out there. But we're going to talk about it. But when I thought about this rebuke, I thought, what were the motives? From what place did this rebuke come? I'm going to give you my analysis. You remember in scripture, Jesus loved Peter. Peter loved Jesus. In fact, Peter loved Jesus so much to the point that when they arrested Jesus, Peter was defending Jesus and cut a soldier's ear off. That's how much Peter loved him. Although that might be questionable later on because Peter did deny Jesus three times, but I really believe Peter loved him. I really do believe that. But Jesus had to rebuke Peter. In Matthew 16 and 23, Jesus rebukes Peter and says, Get behind me, Satan. Mm, he referred to Peter as Satan. And Jesus loved Peter. I know he did. Now let's look at the rebuke that Monique received by her sister. Let's see if this is from a genuine place. Is it from a place of love, hurt, jealousy, anger, disappointment? Let's talk about it. On social media, Millicent posted a post in response to her sister's Monique behavior. We're going to go through some of the contents of the letter. First of all, she starts off saying, enough is enough, my sister. Stop the madness. It's not a good look. Then she goes into the spiritual realm, we think. Okay. She says, God has shut you down before. And believe me, he will do it again. Ooh. Ooh, that's strong right there. Oh, she sound like an old school sanctified woman. God, y'all know when something bad happens, they be like, mm -hmm, see that God is talking. God has shut you down. That's the wrath of God. And it seemed like she might be one of them kind of believers. She said, God has shut you down and he will do it again. Mm, I'm going to leave that alone. And then she goes on to say, but you choose to listen to the devil. Who is Millicent talking about when Millicent said, Monique, you choose to listen to the devil? Is she referring to Monique's husband as the devil? Because a lot of people say uh, he's running her career. He, you know, he's managing her. He's telling her what to do. She listens to him. I mean, why not? That's your husband. You're supposed to listen to your husband, right? But a lot of people don't agree with Monique listening to daddy. <laughs> But her sister says, you're listening to the devil. Could that be people in Hollywood? I don't think so because Monique is a, she has her own mind and she doesn't listen to no one. If she thinks something is right, she's going to stand on it. Hence the issues we're having right now, right? So I think she may have been talking about her partner, Monique's partner. I could be wrong. Or she could be talking about the spirit of the devil because she did say who was once a fallen angel. I mean, Sydney wasn't a fallen angel, right? So 
Millicent could be referred to the spirit that's operating so-called inside Monique. Then she goes on to say, it's the same story over and over. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Basically, we've been here before. Monique, this is nothing new. You always do this. This is what almost took me out right here. Your career has been dead in the past and now it's about to come to life. And now you're killing it again. And now the plug is about to be pulled on you and you're about to be canceled again. This time, it's flatline. Ooh, her sister's very strong, isn't she? My gosh. If I had a sister or brother who was out in the pub like this and I need to rebuke her or him, I think I probably would pull him aside or behind closed doors. I don't know if I would do this in the open like this. She's very raw and uncut right here about her career. A lot of people are saying maybe Millicent is jealous. I don't know. Do you perceive a jealous spirit doing this part right here i don't know i probably would have been a little softer on this part like hey sister we don't look i want you to do well your career was affected or it was impacted negatively before just be mindful i want you to win i want you to make it um you know that's that's a little more genuine but of course, everybody deliver is not the same. Maybe this is Millicent's way of showing love, but you know, I don't know. The plug is about to be pulled. You're killing it again. Uh, you're about to be canceled. This time flatlined. These are some strong words in terms of the demise of somebody's career. Wow. Let me know what you think. It's absolutely maddening to see you embarrass yourself like this which at times is a reflection on the family, your true family. Now here's the kicker, not your made up family or your wife. What? Oh Lord, have mercy. Your wife, she had to have meant your husband. Isn't Monique married to a man, her manager? That's a man, right? Maybe Millicent meant your husband and said your wife, but I don't see how you could make that mistake. Monique doesn't have a wife, right? Could she be saying that? Or could Millicent be referring to Monique's husband as wife? If that's the case, that's a low blow. That's hitting below the belt. Mmm. Wow. We're talking about a rebuke here. And I think when you love someone, a rebuke should be done out of love. This is a little bit too sharp to me to be perceived as love. I don't know. You may not agree. Although you did not show up to your father's or mother's funeral service. Okay, now here we go right here. Now I'm, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. Now, I know how you really feel right now. So is it really about Monique doing all this fool la la out in the public? Or is it really about Mrs. Millicent's feeling toward Monique? You didn't show up to my mom and father's funeral. Why would that be put in there? So obviously there have been some feelings all alone. So this leads me to believe you felt a certain way about your sister. And like you were waiting on the opportunity to say these things because some of these things don't have nothing to do with the subject at hand. It says, I'm sure they forgive you because they know who their child used to be. It's kind of a little dig right there. I see you're making statements about other people's children. So where are yours? Ooh, that was low too. Whether Monique has children or not, I think this statement was unnecessary from a sister who's supposed to be rebuking another sister out of love. To me, that's an attack. Now, y'all know Pastor Nate just tells the truth. We're just going through the letter now. Y'all, I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Because y'all know, if y'all don't agree with Pastor Nate, y'all will let me know. And that's one thing I like about uh, the smart family. We have our own mind over here. If you don't agree, you'll let me know. And I love that because that's what creates conversation. Your opposing views. You may agree and you may not. But I certainly want you to fill up that comment section. If you feel like you get value from this video, from these morning nuggets, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you haven't yet, we'd be glad to have you. She says, clean your house and you'll be set free. In other words, you need to get your life together and clean up your life. You're a mess. That's what she's basically saying. As your old bodyguard used to say, let's play nice. Uh, that's that nice, nasty, right? So I just kind of get a, 
a spirit from us. So I'm not saying Monique was right because y'all heard my comment on that. I don't discern that this is coming from uh, a good place. I could be wrong and y'all know I'm not judgmental, but just from reading the tone and analyzing this, there's some digs in here. There's it's just a, there's some undertones up in here and I'm not crazy. We all got minds, right? Her sister dealing with a deeper issue. Oh, y'all ain't gonna like me right now. Mm -hmm. My God, help me today. And she says, this is all coming from a place of love. Really? If love sounds like that, I don't want you to love me. <laughs> no, 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 no. If love sounds like this, I don't want you to love me. Again, I probably would have said, sister, behind the scenes, I wouldn't have aired all this stuff out. Look, I love you and I want you to make it. You need to pipe down. Stop the madness, girl. And we wouldn't have known nothing about it. Section. Thank you for your support this morning. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time, my friend.